with some news that's just coming in on Foreign Affairs. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe has said that Sri Lanka will make sure that no military activity is conducted at its ports. As China invests heavily in roads and harbors in Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan Prime Minister's statement that too in Tokyo seems to be a clear message to China on militarization of seaports. Vikramasinghe told a joint news conference following a meeting with his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe that Sri Lanka hopes to become the regional hub of the Indian Ocean again. China, which is fortifying islands as we know in the South China Sea to which it lays claim, has pumped hundreds of millions of dollars in Sri Lanka's ports infrastructure, hoping to get something in return, which could be militarization of its seaports. But Sri Lanka there making it absolutely clear, giving out a very strong message. Let's go across to our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, joining us with further details. Good morning, Geeta. We're looking at how a message is being sent there by Sri Lankan Prime Minister to China on militarization of seaports, where Sri Lanka has said that none of its land, its properties, shall be used for militarization purposes. Well, that's right. India also has had the same con uh, concerns, Akshay, when it comes to Sri Lanka and Chinese projects in Sri Lanka. Uh, even during Mahinda Rajapaksha government, when those uh, ports and the deals were given to uh, uh, China, the biggest question was whether if it is going to be used for military purposes. Now, Ch Sri Lanka is a very important island nation here in the entire uh, subcontinent, the South Asian region, and in, in the Indian Ocean, a very important island nation that has uh, that has many countries looking at it for investments, infrastructural projects, Japan also being one country, and uh, Japan also has the very same concerns with regards to China's aggressive military posturing in the region. And it's the reason why those concerns were raised by Japan as well, uh, to which the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka has assured Japan, which is also an assurance for India, that these ports where China has uh, uh, invested heavily in terms of infrastructure and uh, development, uh, project uh, will not be used for any military purposes. Those are the assurances that India also has. But we do know that China has been trying to make military inroads into Sri Lanka for a, for some time now, for a long time now. And whether if that is really going to translate into Chinese military uh, entry into uh, Sri Lanka is something we'll have to wait and see. But for now, it seems like Sri Lanka is holding its, its end of the promise in uh, ensuring that military yes. activity of China does not happen in those important ports of Sri Lanka. Yes, Agita, but looking at the kind of influence that China continues to have and uh, the aggressive policy in the South China Sea as well, this kind of statement that's coming from Sri Lanka, do you think in any way this will contain the dragon? Well, uh, the fact is that China has been investing heavily in Sri Lanka. Now, yeah. it is only dependent on how Sri Lanka is going to react to China if China really pushes its way, uh, weight uh, on issues such as having some sort of military presence in uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah. For now, uh, Sri Lanka has made it very clear that as a sovereign country, it would not allow any military activity of China, and that's how it stays for now. But in the recent past, we've also seen Chinese submarines dock in Sri Lanka, and mm. that was a huge concern for India, and India had protested against those uh, submarines landing and docking in Sri Lankan ports. Uh, they said it was only a transit, it was in transit and not as part of any military exercise or allowing the military space. But there are concerns as mm -hmm. those are, that are raised and now and again, uh, Akshay, and that is something that India and countries like Japan will have to keep monitoring. Okay, Geeta, thanks very much for joining us with those inputs.